What's going on, Guggen Slayers? I'm back. Got another Six Cents subscription box. Just opened it. And also, I wanted to share um, some baits I'm already catching fish on this season so far. And I have a I have a couple extra packs I'm willing to give away. So these are the Nico Helgramites. Already been catching some nice fish on them. And they're really um, unique and exclusive bait. They come from overseas in Japan, but there's limited suppliers here in the United States. Bait company is called Nico Baits. Next generation soft baits. They have a Helgramite model and these are the baits I'm giving away. There's five different colors to choose from. This is the June bug. Natural, it's like brown craw color. Watermelon, red flake. Brown with gold flake. And your standard green pumpkin. These are really high tech baits, guys. They come scented, um, extra durable, biodegradable, and they have a UV light reaction. I've been uh, wacky rigging it through the back of the neck here and fishing it on a drop shot. If you're interested in winning my Nico Bates giveaway, tell me which color you would like of the Helgramite. So tell me which color you like in the comments or in the stream. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, it would be bonus points if you share the video. So these... These baits are just awesome. They're environmentally sound, so they safe for fish consumption and biodegrade in the environment. So I'm, I'm, I'd be really happy to give these baits away to a lucky winner in the comments below. So those are one of the baits I've been catching fish on this year already. The next bait is um, called Radfish Lures. It's a soft stick bait with flat sides. It's about four inches. And it's just a stick bait that I also wacky rig on a drop shot. It's getting a lot of bites. And fish. I don't have any more in the pack. Those are other plastics that are just in there. Don't have any more. I have one left and it's rigged up on my finesse rod. So those are good baits to try, you know, in cold water, or pressured water, because they get a good amount of bites. And my most successful hard bait this season so far has been the Six Cents Crush, Crush 70. I got this bait in my last month's box and I've already caught quite a amount of fish on it. And we can examine the, the wear and tear on the paint. 
I probably fished it consistently for like 12 hours or more. Whoops. So I've already fished it really hard and the bait, the paint is like sticking on the bait really well. There are some decent catches with these three baits. So if you're having a tough early year so far, um, maybe try some of those baits and see what the, how they work for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So those are the Nico baits and and baits I've been getting catching fish on already this year. What's up, Spro Team Bass? Cool. If you're watching anyone, check out Spro Team Bass. Watch a video and leave a like on it. I would appreciate it. Me and him would both appreciate it. How you doing, friend? Just in time to open up my new Six Sense box. Wow, all the way from Spain. How's the bass fishing in Spain? Let me know what color you like so you can win uh, Nico baits. We have watermelon, brown, green pumpkin, June bug, and natural. Uh, not much English. That's good you're practicing. Welcome to my stream. Please leave a like if you enjoy. All right. This is another way I rig up the Helgramite on like a Ned, Ned head rig jig. This works really well. The plastics are very buoyant, so it just, it, it sticks up. They float, really floaty, really stretchy, really tough. And durable. Let me know what color you'd like to win for the baits. Here's the box. Looks like they gave me a slightly smaller bag, which is good. So now I have different size bags to use. And I guess I just open it up and see what we got. This is the month of April's six cents subscription box. It's seventeen ninety nine. And the first bait is wow, we got a swim bait, speed glide in a shad pattern. Hmm. I wasn't sure if they were gonna do a speed glide in their in their small size box. Wow. You know, I actually thought these things had a bill on the front, but this one just looks like a glide bait. Very cool. You know, like a finesse glide bait, small glide bait. It's only a hundred millimeters, seven eighths, seven eighths of an ounce. This should throw really well on my six cents, seven foot, five inch, heavy action. You know, the, hit, the hooks are nice and strong, but not super thick. And it has a feathered treble. Really cool bay. I'm glad I get to see this in the water in person. It's a great color too. Even though most of my fisheries don't have a lot of shad, um, it's still a great color. Very cool. The speed glide. Not bad. Starting off strong with a swim bait. 
Yo, what's up again? Low budget bass and welcome to the stream. That's so nice you came again. Just started opening the boxes and got this six cent swim bait. Pretty cool. Anyone else who's watching, check out Low Budget Bassin's channel. It's great content. All right, gonna reach in the box again. And we got a Crush 100. Cool. Shad Fantasy. So this is just like the this crankbait, but in a larger size. One of my most productive crankbaits so far. What? Yo, what's up, Dojong Bouquet? Boot, boot, oh, thank you for the compliment. I'm glad you made it to the stream. If anyone else is listening, please check out do Gong Bugay's channel. She has some great content worth watching. Oh, Six Sense, your favorite bait company? Cool. Mine too. <laughs> so, this is our Crush 100 in Shad Fantasy. It's like a shad color with a lot of gold on it. Really cool. This is my second 100X crush, and I haven't thrown the first one yet, but I will soon. Yeah, really nice. It's got a light rattle weight transfer system. Nice, nice little subtle red on the gills, and this will get this will get bit for sure. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, it dives up to five feet in the water. So it's a little deeper. Pretty cool. Thank you, everyone, for coming to my stream. Really appreciate it. If you guys didn't hear, I'm doing a Nico Bait giveaway. So tell me in the chat which color you'd like or in the comments. Green pumpkin. Watermelon red, June bug, brown with gold flake, and the natural color. So let me know which color you'd like, and I'll send out one of these Nico Helgramites. June bug, good pick. Yeah, the June bugs I've already caught a good amount of fish on. Great baits. Thank you for entering. All right, we have two more baits. Yeah, June bug's a great um, muddy watercolor or stained watercolor too. I have a lot of confidence in them. And we have our next bait is a Cloud9 C6. Really pretty looking. Lavender citrus in a C6. So it's like a small deep diver. Doesn't go, not like super deep. Four to eight feet in this C6. Really cool. Yeah, if you could see that, it's got a nice shine, glitter. I've actually never had a bait with uh, glitter from them. Chartreuse, underbelly. Very cool looking bait here. Looks almost like a 10. Oh, 10 foot. Yeah, they say um, four to eight foot. But I'm sure you can get it to 10 on really light line. So we have three hard baits so far. Those are our baits. And we have one more bait. Yep, 
yeah, I'm gonna get try to get better at fishing deeper crankbaits. You see a lot of lot of a lot of great fishermen are using them and pulling up some big fish consistently on those medium to deep diving crankbaits. They're they're they can be a little intimidating to fish at my lake with all the snot grass at the bottom, but I'm gonna make it work. Last bait, looks like a jig. We got swim bait heads. Cool. And they're, ha they're half ounce swim bait heads. So these are like deeper, deeper swim bait heads. These are cool. Really nice design. Yeah, and they have the screw lock. Screw lock so it keeps an extra tight hold on the plastic. Very tight hold. Mm hmm Thank you. Thank you, Low Budget Bassin, for being so active in the chat. I appreciate it. Yeah, nice, sharp, very sharp hook on there. Very sharp. So these are good to rig up um, your medium to larger soft swim baits on these heads. What's good, Fishing with Christina? Thank you for joining the chat. Anyone watching, check out Fishing with Christina's channel. If I don't have any of you guys subscribe, I'll subscribe to you after the stream too. But I appreciate you stopping in. Nice little swim bait head. They have a really good stand. They stand up like really well. See, it kind of like bobbles. Nice flat sides, so it just stands. Yeah, these are half ounce. So they're good in like a medium deep depth, but you could still fish them in shallow. This is their live shad color. Live shad. Ooh, good for redfish. That's a great question. I've only um, watched people target redfish, but it seems like they use a lot of bass gear and conventional bass gear and catch redfish. So I'm sure if you put a a swim bait that you catch redfish on these jig heads it should work really well let's see what let's put. maybe i'll put these doomsday swim baits on the back they have like that really strong like power bait sent to them but maybe this will be a good swim bait for these heads cut cut the tip so it's nice and flat then you could screw it on and i definitely like where the hook point goes out of the bait in these so these are a pretty good fit if you wanted to fish a swim bait with an exposed hook this would be cool Oh, yeah, you like the doomsday? All right, another reminder, guys. I'm giving away these pack of Nico baits. So let me know in the chat which, which color you like. Natural, brown and gold, June bug, watermelon red flake, 
and the classic green pumpkin. I've already been catching fish on the June bug color, but I'm happy to share with you guys. So let me know which, which color you like and like and like the video and subscribe to the channel and hopefully I pick you. Yeah, these are cool little swim baits by Doomsday. Um, 4.8, really strong scent and really good, good plastic. They're going to have a lot of kick in the water. Yeah, really curious to see. Really curious to see how this speed glide does. I thought they came with the bill, but maybe that's another model. But I'm really happy. I'm really happy it doesn't have the bill, and I can just work it like a regular glide bait. I I do fish some smaller glide baits. They're pretty fun. Yeah, they, they do have like a white shad pattern for Doomsday, for sure. Go check them out. And yeah, this glide bait's going to be sweet. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, bass like locate prey with scent, but once they bite the bait, it can give them a little uh, more reason to hold on because we we've we've all had bites where we get a bite and we don't swing on the fish because we know it's just biting the back of our bait or it's not it hasn't gotten the whole bait so we're waiting for the fish to engulf it and sometimes they just let go and they don't engulf the bait so some scent like helps them hold on and eat, eat it better Really thin body on this. Kill deer survival. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Please like and comment. Yeah, that's that's April's six cents subscription box. That's the small size, so it's seventeen ninety nine, and there's also there's also bigger sizes you can get to. Um, definitely happy with um my small size box. I just keep getting these. It's the larger square bill and the and the medium diving crankbait. And that, that's about it. That will probably wrap up the stream. But I want to remind you guys. Tell me your favorite color for the Helgramite. Nico Bates. These are sleeper finesse baits. They get bit. They don't tear or break. They don't break. <laughs> These things can catch a lot of fish. Used properly. So tell me if you want a green pumpkin. Uh, watermelon red flake, June bug, or brown with gold flake, or the natural color. These things glow under UV light too, guys. The Bateman box, um, I think that's a new special box that they have promoting um, the Bateman's YouTube channel. So it's like the Bateman affiliated with Sixth Sense and pick some baits for his own monthly box that you can buy, as far as I know. And I think that's like a bigger box too. Oh, cool. You like the green ones? Great. 
Yep, I appreciate everyone checking out the stream. Um, please check out each other in the in the chat. Click on each other's channels and watch each other's videos. But as of today, that's all the content I have. And I again, I appreciate everyone checking out, saying hi, and another stream will come shortly. Thank you. Peace. Yep, later.